here we go with another unboxing. I am doing a product review. It says two pieces, so I guess two of them come in the package. Who makes this thing? Tex... Tex... Tex Assign. So it's kind of like Tex Design. Tex Sign? Maybe it's Tex Sign. Um, this is a 360 degree GoPro swivel mount rotating adapter for all GoPro Hero 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, GoPro Session 8, GoPro 5, 4, GoPro Fusion, probably GoPro 2018 also. Um, this is kind of the second time that I'm buying a product like this. I don't know if this is the same as what I bought originally. I bought one from Sherwo and I had nothing, I don't want to be mean to the company because I just did a review of their uh, camera, uh, GoPro camera enclosure that is just incredible. And, okay, so I can tell right out of the, right away, the, the Sherwo is aluminum, it's CNC spun aluminum. This is 100% I'm looking at the instruction. Made of durable plastic and stainless steel. This, my friends, is the stainless steel. The rest of this is plastic. Is that bad or good? I don't know. The problem I had with the one that I bought originally from Sherwo, I love the thing. I mounted it onto the handlebars on a really goofy bracket, and the, the screw, they give you a bracket, and the screw kept on coming loose and it was this thing was flopping around. I was all excited about shooting video uh, on the bike path and I was going to have this thing turn to the side to film the, the ocean as I was on the bike path and what ended up happening is this is mounted on the handlebars and then it started flopping around and flopping. It was a flippy floppy and I was so upset because I, I had to hold the bracket with one hand for a 20 mile ride, I was so upset. And so this looks like the exact same design, except this is made out of plastic. A big surprise to me. I guess I should have read what I was doing when I ordered. So let's take this apart and let's see how this works. How tight is this? Um, how tight is this? Okay, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be asking how tight is it. Um, ah! Okay, so this is the same thing as the Sherwell, except this is made out of plastic. Now, for me, if this was mounted on the handlebars, and I would lift up on the camera, or the bracket, I'm holding this with my left hand, if I would lift up on the camera, I'd be able to turn it, and that is the advantage of something like this. That's the whole advantage of buying this. The good deal about this is you get two of them for 14 bucks. Sure, wow, I think you got one from 14 bucks, but it was aluminum and it was very well made. Not that this isn't well made. I don't know how long this is going to hold up to having a, the bolt tightened down on it before it cracks. It might hold up well. It might. I can't judge that yet. Um, all I can say is that this is why you want to buy it so that you have a swivel. Not, th not that you have a swivel, because mo even GoPro makes a swivel. The problem with the GoPro swivel is it's not a ratchet. So what you have to do is you got to unscrew the thing, you got to unscrew it over here, you got to do the adjustment, and then you have to tighten everything back down. That's a nightmare. You can't do that when you're on a bike or when you're, uh, when you're somewhere and you need to do this immediately. So this mounted on, the ha on a bracket, and I just bought some extra brackets, so this might work really good. I'll figure out a way to put this on my bike. And I've got this, uh, I have this mounted on the bracket. And you too, you got this mounted on your bracket. Whatever you're going to have it on. You could even use this on the, uh, what do I have? I have the chest, the chest uh, mount from GoPro. This would definitely work on that. You could uh, mount this on the chest thing. You could angle it now. You really wouldn't want to angle it. You'd want to keep it straight. And so say that you're standing on the corner recording vehicles driving by and you're just watching uh, traffic. And so you're facing this way, but you want to film the intersection. You just lift up on this and turn. Oh, my God, that's so cool. It's really smooth. I'm, I'm sorry that there, this is not made in metal because this would be awesome in aluminum. But this is really neat. And you get your full 360. Okay, so it locks over there. I'm happy. As long as this doesn't snap, and even if it does, the price is good enough, 
So you're going to be able to mount your GoPro camera over here, standard GoPro with the regular screws. You're going to put this on your bracket, and you're going to have your 360 ratchet. A little tighter, the plastic's a little tighter than it is on the Sherwo um, aluminum. And otherwise, I think it is probably very close to a duplicate of what they make. But this is made in plastic. Ow! So, I'm going to go pop it on the bike right now. Thanks for watching the video. Do that thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment, and check out the video description. Click on the link. Amazon affiliate link uh, will take you over to Amazon so you can buy this thing. And uh, help me out a little bit. Thanks for watching.